Hello and welcome to Triumph Vintage Pins. My name is Glenn Atkins. What I'm going to do today is show you how to use your Dremel tool to remove the pellet from a pellet cup of a vacuumatic filler unit. Let's take a look. The tools that we're going to be using today uh, from top to bottom are a micro burr, a curved dental pick, a straight dental pick, a miniature round file, a miniature flat file, a three 32nd brass rod, uh, and not shown are uh, a heat gun, uh, and of course our Dremel tool. Let's take a look and uh, see how to do this. What you're looking at here is straight down through a 2x lighted magnifier, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold the Dremel tool steady and move the filler mechanism and the pellet cup toward the Dremel. And that's the key to success in this, I, I think, is to, again, hold the tool steady and move the pellet cup toward the spinning uh, burr. And then drill down into the, uh, drill down into the pellet, and you can, you can feel it in there. And you can see little bits of it uh, flying off. And then uh, what you see here is a, a bunch of it, a bunch of the uh, pellet stuck to the end of the, the burr. So what I'm going to do now is take a number 11 X-Acto knife uh, and remove that gunk and crud uh, from the end of the tool so that we've got a good a burr uh, to work with. And usually that'll just come right off uh, really easy, like so. Do um, You start out with the, the curved dental pick and use it to gently um, feel around inside the, the pellet cup uh, to, and try to determine how much damage you've actually done um, to the pellet. What you can see in there is that we've got quite a bit of the pellet left um, that we're going to have to continue to figure out a way uh, to remove from the pellet cup. What you're going to want to do uh, then is come back to your Dremel and again try to hold the tool steady and move the workpiece, um, in this case um, the filler mechanism, toward the Dremel. I can't emphasize enough how key that is, at least for me, uh, to have success in doing this without damaging um, the pellet cup. Again, we're going to use the number seven, uh, number eleven, Exacto knife uh, to clean off the bits of the the pellet that are stuck uh, to the end of the burr, so that we've got a clean tool uh, to work with. After you gently fiddle around with this thing for a while, and I can't emphasize enough uh, the word gently, um, the pellet will eventually come out uh, in parts or uh, nearly whole. And again, what you're looking at is um, through a um, lighted 2x magnifier, and there is your pellet uh, removed from the pellet cup. Success! You may have noticed that the inside edges of the pellet cup look a little bit ragged um, and not exactly round. What you want to check for is you want to make sure that a 332nd rod will just go in uh, to the end of that pellet cup. Um, that's a tip I l uh, learned from uh, Richard Bender uh, over at uh, richardspins.com. And that uh, pellet cup is a little bit ragged. Uh, we'll take care of that in just a minute. But there is a picture uh, of the remnants uh, of the pellet cup. What we're going to do now is take our uh, mini round file and just gently um, deburr uh, the inside rim of that pellet cup and take the sharp edges of it off. What we're trying to do is take the edges of it off um, without making it any larger than it already is. Again, check it with the 332nd rod. Um, that seems to be pretty good, but it's a little bit uh, looser than I want. And uh, I'll show you how to fix that a little bit later uh, on in the video. Now what we're going to do is take our 
flat file and use it just to sort of round off uh, the outside edges of the pellet cup and deburr those a little bit. Basically you just take the file at a 45 degree angle uh, to the rim of the pellet cup and go around it and then you'll take it uh, flat across the top a few times very gently uh, just to take the, the burrs off take the edges off you don't want anything to uh, be sharp and have the potential to um, puncture the new diaphragm that you're going to put uh, back into the pellet cup again back to the round file so gently I'm making sure that all the burrs are removed checking again with the rod if it is good but still loose like I said, we're going to deal with that uh, uh, later on in the video. I've done a little bit more work off camera uh, with the round file and the flat file to make sure that the uh, pellet cup is uh, completely deburred. And again, checking it with the uh, 332nd inch rod uh, for fit. Here's a quick shot of the, uh, the pellet uh, next to the burr to give you a sense of the the tininess of the, the burr that you use on your Dremel uh, to get these pellets um, out of the pellet cup. Very, very tiny. Okay, here's how I fix um, a pellet cup that is slightly loose um, or too big. That's a close-up shot of my heat gun. The, uh, the nominal temperature that I set on the gun is about 500 degrees. Um, and you basically just roll the edge of the pellet cup uh, on it at about a 45 degree angle uh, and let literally the, the contact heat uh, from the end of the heat gun um, tighten up the opening in that pellet cup and you do that uh, a few times until you're satisfied uh, with the size of the opening uh, and you periodically check it uh, with your 332nd uh, rod. Okay just for fun here's a uh, shot of the surface temperature of the uh, outside of the heat gun that I was putting the pellet cup on. Looks to be about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. I remember the nominal temperature of the gun uh, was set at uh, 500 and the surface temperature of the outside of the gun is about 115 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. How cool is that? All right, that's it for today, guys. How to use a Dremel tool to uh, remove uh, the pellet cup uh, from a vacuumatic uh, filler unit. Hope you like the video. Um, if you do, please uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the like button, and uh, let me know what you think in the comment sections. And uh, stay tuned, we've got some uh, exciting things coming up. Thank you very much. Hello, and welcome to Triumph Vintage Pens. My name is Glenn Atkins. Um, what I'm going to do today is show you how to use a Dremel tool to remove the pellet from the pellet cup of a vacuumatic, uh, vacuumatic filling unit. We need to do that over, don't we? Thank <laughs> you.